Where did we leave off here? What we did, uh, oh yeah. My garage is a friggin' mess. Look at my interior, you like, right? So yeah. What we did yesterday, or last video for you guys, was replace the heater core, the heater blower thing, in the car here, which is this guy. Definitely don't know if it works yet because the battery is out of the car and I can't start it. Um, I don't think the whole dashboard matters, but uh, what we're gonna do is work on the battery relocation. So I have about an hour and a half before I have to go to work and we're gonna try to get this done. And we're gonna try to make it neat. So uh, let's get cracking on this. So what I'm gonna do is maybe we're gonna place the battery in the trunk where I kind of want it. Cut out this old wire, which uh, I believe, yes, it's garbage. Uh, I believe I explained it in the last video that this was run by the previous owner. Either they had a sub in the back or uh, they had the battery in the back. But I'm gonna cut that out, put the new guy in, and go from there. Right, let's see what we got here for the trunk. Uh, battery's right there. And I have all these pieces. It's actually going to be the plate. I should take it out. Probably going to go like, probably going to be over there somewhere. Uh, zero gauge wire. Got black for your negative, red for the positive. Uh, the black you don't need that long. You got these that you could uh, make the the connection. Use a little Allen key on one end, and then the other end just goes right on the battery. And then you got your other end to make the connection under the hood, so. I got some other stuff we're gonna, uh, probably gonna run this down under the car. Maybe self-tapper screw it to the, the side of the frame rail. So it's nice and neat, we don't have it running through the car because, because. So let me get cracking on this and I'll uh, check back with you in a few. All right, so we need to do, got our mount a plate, we gotta find a nice, flat-ish spot to put this on. So, actually we got a grommet here too. Could probably send the wire right through there. It has the, the Allen, head, Allen head bolts, flat head that uh, recess into the plate. So you get a nice flat uh, mounting surface. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go under the car, look to see where these are, cause these might not be connected to anything. So those could come right out. And then what I'm gonna actually have to do is, I. I'm gonna have to get a drill bit to drill through so I could uh, actually bolt those down underneath the car to itself. So let me let me look at that and hopefully we're, uh, we get a good spot. So I seem to have found a good spot to, to mount this. Got all uh, nice, uh, got nice flat spots to drill through. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it. Um, after you find a spot that works for you, check underneath the car because you want to make sure you're not drilling through anything important underneath the car. So uh, I already did that, I checked, nothing under there. So we're just gonna send it through. Uh, where's my bolts? I'm just gonna find it, just gonna find a drill bit that's like slightly larger than these guys. Send it through and then we all good. So then we'll mount that down. Um, it looks like what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to trim the edges of this, uh, the base of the battery, because the the style mount I got, I believe, is like for a D34 style battery, and this is a D35. So, so the extra pieces on the bottom that just serve no purpose other than to hold it in place. So we're gonna trim those off, and then place this in the the thing, bolt it down to that, and then we just have to worry about the wires. <laughs> Let's see about bolting it in from the bottom now. Just gotta throw these nuts on them, these nuts, and then we are good, so. Yeah. I drilled five holes, uh, but I can only get four screws in because that back one is like in a horrible spot. My fingers are too fat to get in there, so I'm gonna zip down the four of these that I got, and then uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, this, 
this gun might not even fit for all of them. So, let me zip down what I can. There we go, yeah. All right, so, uh, All right, so the tray's in nice and firm. Uh, I gotta go back in the house, I think, to get the Dremel, because I gotta cut the end of that off, because I don't know what else to use. Ooh. Yeah, I'll be right back, let me cut this. Battery is in. I just just do a little trimmage. Uh, it was a little too wide this way also, so I trimmed the back end of it. So the front end has a nice clean factory edge, so I'm gonna... Let me see what size this is, so I can bolt this down. And then the battery itself is installed. Then all I gotta do is worry about running wires to the front. Actually, not even completely to the front. I need to run a ground right here for the negative, and then the, the, the positive has to go all the way to the front. So let me get these, this thing bolted in. And it has a nice setup. Too shabby. Of course it's not going to be that size. Why would it be that size? Why would it be the size you had out already? Dripping over shit. It's not going anywhere. I have the red positive wire um, running through the, the out the trunk and underneath the car. It's not attached anywhere but it's kind of like roughly where it needs to go so uh, I have it running like over control arms and stuff, just, uh, not control arms, I have it, I have it running around pieces that don't move, because you want to make sure you don't move, like pieces don't move, like with suspension flex and stuff like that, where it's going to chew up your wire and then, dead. So what we're going to do, I'm going to strip the end of this, I'm going to feed it into this terminal here, on one of these, and then we can hook up our positive, and our positive, uh, well, I'm gonna leave it out. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to like run it somewhat neat in the in the trunk for right now. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave some extra slack in here. So if I ever want to move the battery from this spot to a different spot again, uh, I have the slack and I don't have to run a new wire. So uh, leave yourself some extra slack. Let's attach this, and then we'll figure out where we're gonna attach it underneath the car. We're on there good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to run this in the trunk where I'm going to want it to be. Maybe attach it down. Um, I'll leave it off the battery for now because who the hell cares? It doesn't really matter. But uh, then we're going to deal with uh, the wires underneath the car going to the front. Well, that hour and a half came and went real quick. Uh, time to get ready to go to work. Maybe eat a snack. Then we out, but wire is all the way around to the front. Zip tied all nice. What I'm gonna have to do is, this is gonna have to get connected to this, but I'm gonna neaten it up. So it's taking me, so it's taking a longer time because I'm trying to neaten everything up because right now this whole car is a disaster. So uh, gonna try to clean that up tomorrow. So let me go to work and uh, I will continue this in, well, I'm gonna continue it tomorrow, but for you it's like in another like two seconds, one. Two. And we're back. It's the next day. Uh, work was fantastic yesterday. Work's always fun, right? Uh, where'd we leave off? We left off. Wire is run to the front of the car. Uh, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna attempt to do is maybe try to move this fuse box a little this way. I don't know if it's gonna move much. Then this wire has to get connected to this wire. I'm going to I'm going to start moving stuff around, zip tying, trying to make it everything super neat, just so it's neat because neater is better. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Uh, I didn't get crazy crazy, but I kind of like neaten stuff up. Let me put this. It's not super neat. I mean, look at this shit. That's gonna get fixed eventually. Leaving this out in the open right now because that's gonna. I want to make sure my stuff works. Uh, this wire was like running across this way, tucked it up, all nicey nice. Uh, it was part of the, the engine harness down there. I uh, strapped up all nice. 
wires, the our positive feed is run from the battery all the way to the back of the car. We're tucked up nice. Uh, I'm gonna get something to put in this. Uh, gotta get something to put in that. So don't worry about that. That's temporary. Uh, I left some extra slack down in the fender, so that's gonna get connected to our neck, uh, our positive. So what I gotta do now? I gotta take my positive. Uh, my positive. I gotta take the black wire, which I'm gonna use as negative, which that's normally the car. Red's positive, black is your ground slash negative. Uh, that all I gotta do is clean off a spot in the trunk. I'm probably gonna do it like here. Uh, wire wheel a little bit to make sure you get bare metal. I'm gonna run the wire up, over, and connect right into here. I got these things. These are like make your own terminals. All it has is an Allen key. Stick the wire in, tighten the Allen key down, done. These are kind of cool because if you ever add anything that has to go directly to your battery, you have an extra spot. So you got two, you got two small guys in the middle, right in there, and then you have another big one. So I guess like if you wanted to do, if you wanted to do like an amp or something for your, for your stereo, but I'm gonna fix one end of that wire now because I gotta like crimp it down. So I didn't buy the tool with it, but there is a tool. Got a wire, uh, a connection. Ugh. Got a connection like this. What you do is you strip one end of this, your wire, of your uh, zero gauge wire that you have. Slide that, slide this on it. And then uh, what I'm using is a hammer and a big ass chisel. So you basically just gotta smash that connection down so it doesn't move at all. So I'm just gonna do that quick and then I'll show you the spot I decided to mount it and uh, wire it all up. That's really on there. I got that self tappered in. Positives here. Just gotta run my, leave for my negative. I gotta cut this to, to a size. I don't know what size. So 100% there, I opened the door and the, the dome light went on, so I guess that's a good sign. Uh, I mean, look at the dash right now, so we're going to try to start the car. If we gotta jump it, I might just say fuck it and not start it, but here goes nothing. Fans turned on, let's see it. Cold start. Doesn't want to start usually. Success! Just a little recap. Get this whole kit. This was on Amazon. Uh, actually, everything I got was on Amazon except for the battery. The battery I already had. Um, I may have actually purchased it on Amazon a while back, but uh, this is temporary. I gotta get something to uh, go around that to insulate the wire a little bit. But you got your negative coming off. Clean a spot on the on the car, on the body. Drill it right in. You can use a self tapper. The positive lead you're gonna send through. You could send it if you want. You can actually send it through the car from the inside, but I decided to go underneath the car just to keep stuff out of the, the interior if I ever want to, because uh, I have plans, I might like, I might uh, eventually change my seats and stuff like that, and I just don't want to deal with extra wires on the interior if I don't have to, but uh, send the wire through. It's a little dark, but wire's coming up. Have it actually wrapped around here, and then we end up over here. The fuse box, I actually, made a new wire for the fuse box. I had some like that bullshit black wire there. So have that coming around with the, the new one and then straight from the alternator is coming over here. 
and then we're taped up together, taped up all nice right now. Uh, what you gotta do is you just gotta basically, I mean, you could leave it exactly like that, or you could hide the wire completely. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna leave it there for a little while, see what I wanna do with it. If I eventually wanna tuck it away so you don't ever see it, but quick little mod quick little mod it actually took me two days but I only had like an hour to work the first day hour and a half whatever but uh, we're back if you have any questions please leave it down in the the comment section um, like comment subscribe see you on the next one